can't begin to know it But then I know it's growing strong And you do the 30 or the 30? 30. 30. Leahy. Yep, yeah, that begins with an L, so I can. Oh, I've seen it. Go back, go back. Hang on, go back. Hang on. Leahy there, Ted. Yes, 62. Did you oh, hear that you bit about three percent? I did. Yeah, good. You know Excellent. I'm right. Anything Lovely. important on the back? You watch Thank sorry, you very much. Your loved ones. Anything <laughs> you like. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning from the village of Muka, uh, deep in the Yorkshire Dales. So that was a uh, stunning uh, drive over. Um, it was little tiny roads um, and it took me about an hour and 15 minutes, but uh, yeah, lovely drive uh, to get here. So where am I? I'm in Muka. Um, the little village is just behind me there. Um, I've got run registration back here and I'm here for the Dales Runner 30 so it's 30 kilometers actually I think it's nearer 32 kilometers which works out to being 19 point something miles so just shy of 20 miles so and there's going to be a lot of climbing um, the route uh, starts here it disappears up through Ravensea I don't know if you've seen the television program with the Owens um, Yorkshire farming thing um, I think you go up somewhere around their area and up to the Tan Hill pub which is the highest pub in England so um, it's, it's definitely gonna be a lot of climbing uh, a lot of hills but hopefully some stunning scenery so I've been looking for this one forward to this one for a long time uh, and here we are the day has arrived um, the day is nice at the minute it's set to turn miserable and rain later on Let's see if we can get round before the rain arrives, that'll be good. Um, yesterday was absolutely blistering hot, so there was a few beers consumed yesterday evening after a tough week. I've been away this week, I've been down in Cardiff actually, um, and so I managed to get a running around Cardiff Bay. I'll just put a couple of pictures up there as I'm talking. That was uh, that was good, uh, so I've been away with work, it's been a, a tough long week. Um, a few beers last night, I couldn't help myself, I wasn't going to drink uh, given that I was running today, but I had to have a few beers sat in the uh, red hot sunshine last night. And then we've got today, so it was a bit of an early start, managed to get up, get some breakfast, get everything packed and sorted out, got me water bottles, there's a mandatory kit list which I've had to get packed, I wasn't sure which um, what I was going to take with me. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and pack like I've, uh, I was only going to take 500 mils of water, I'm going to double that and take a litre of water just because it, it's, although it's likely to be wet, it's warm, so... Um, taking plenty of water with me. Uh, I've got, like I say, a mandatory kit list, which is me um, tape seams, leggings, and top, uh, hat and gloves. What else have I got in there? Food, uh, emergency blanket, stroke, bivy. I can't think what else. I've got all the stuff in there. So, whistle, compass, all sorts of bits and pieces. I've got my phone with a map on it. So, everything that I need, I've been assigned on. So I'm now signed on and ready to go, and I'm a little bit early. We've still got, um, well, we've got 45 minutes before the brief, which is going to happen in this field, and then I believe there's an, a 1.5 mile walk to the start line, which will act as a nice little warm-up, actually, um, just to get everything warmed up and make sure I'm feeling comfortable. So, everybody's arriving. Um, like I said, there's the little village of Muka behind me. Um, looking forward to it. There is Hugh and Jamie coming to join me on this run. Actually, I say that Jamie was looking to book the shorter one, uh, but Hugh's definitely doing the 30. Um, he'll be way out in front of me today. I'm, I'm not planning on big things today. Taking it easy, enjoying the scenery, and uh, we'll see what we can do. But right, for now, I'm just going to go and uh, make sure, double check on my kit, and I'll come back to you in a bit.
And to all our lovely landowners, um, Gunnerside Estates and Usher Gap Campsite particularly, who really, really help us out. Um, so, uh, the course today is going to be marked with um, orange tape flags and arrows, that's what you're looking out for. Um, the, this is a trail race of about 16 kilometres or 31 kilometres in length with either 1,600 or 3,000 feet of ascent. Okay, so uh, some sections are technical, muddy, slippy or boggy, so make sure you've got the right shoes on these. Give me two minutes to go and grab my bag and we will be heading on down to the start. It's the same place as last year, so if you know where you're going, we're heading down into the village and then following the signs through. But if you're not sure, hang on for me and I'll guide you down there. Okay, see you down there in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're just walking to the start. I think it's about 1.5 miles, so a nice little warm up just to get everything working. Um, this is quite exciting. Everybody's heading down. So he was just educating us. The finish is over there. I think that little red hut, and there's a little bridge there that we go over. Uh, to get back so we're finished near but we're still heading to the start um he's been telling me that he's had plenty of unicorn juice so it's quite rough to yep. start it's quite rough to start but he's just going to levitate over all that yeah so no problems there and on route there's a little cow house which apparently is a, a bit of interest um that's been renovated i'm not sure we'll be stopping to have a look at it but it's, it's worth it's a listed cow house. a listed cow house oh yep. and there's some wild med uh, wild flower meadows yeah. as well that we'll uh, pass through on the way back yeah plenty so, of <laughs> so so all good i've had a, an educational walk to the start and we're still not there yet so i'll see what more facts we can find out so this is the start line we've made it here everybody's gathering excitement's building and we've got a drone catching some footage of us drone for me where is it oh there it is <laughs> in the trees all that so i'm going to give you a quick countdown and then we're just going to go for it so are you ready are you ready yeah okay three Two, one, go! We're off! So Jamie's racing off, but he's only signed up for the fun run. There's only you and I doing the uh, the big one. I don't know if 10 miles is classic, but is it fun run? Is 10 miles a fun run? Jamie says so. Good luck, Jamie, anyway. We'll see you at the finish. With that swinger swagger. <laughs> you know, it's not as... No closer. Thanks, Jamie. Good Last one, close the gate. <laughs> We're just saying it's a nice soft, uh, soft start before. There, We're going up there. At the last climb of the day. That, that doesn't look probably much on camera, but it is. Yeah. It's quite a gnarly path at first. From what I remember. That looks a gnarly path up there. Yeah. Looks like it will be. Looks like I want to get the uh, endorphins going. Yeah. Get the blood pumping. A bit of a breeze there. It's nice and welcomed. Yeah. It's hot. Oh. Hello, lambs. Hey, up. Seven minutes forty, so nice steady pace. You should take yeah. Oh, this is tough on my legs. Yeah. Okay. Fun run went right there. The uh, 30 left. We're climbing again. 
be climbing. That in the distance is a village of Calder. Thank you. So, there goes you. He left me a little bit on that climb. And I'm not going to push to pull it back. I've got 20 hard miles, or well, probably 18 now. So I'm just going to run it at my own pace. You can leave the gate at you. I'll close it. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, who's first? I'm second with the guy behind me. I think there's a few others actually, so I won't be here for long. I just got delayed just in that gate. I had to put the fast on. Thought there'd be some guys behind me, but there wasn't. So I'm in third now. Another guy just come past, but like I say, I'm not gonna kill myself at this point. We've got a long way to go. Oh, climbing again. Whew. Bit squidgy underfoot. Wet feet there. Went in up to my ankles. Yuck. Just trying to avoid another bog there, but didn't really work. which way the right path went. There's an orange flag up here so we must still be right now. For anybody that watches that Yorkshire farm programme with the Owens, this is their farm. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google Amanda Owen, Yorkshire farmer or something like that, it's bound to come up. Thank you. There they are, going about the farming. I forgot what he's called. My dad. Five miles in. Whew. Oh, that's a tough climb. Thank you. That was a bit jelly, wasn't it? Jelly bog. Just lost position three to that guy. That's strong running because that is a big hill and it's still going. Whoa. 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 Nearly tripped then. Whoa. And miles of this across the moor, and it's endless for as far as I can see. Oh, this looks a bit dicey. But, ah, yes, it, it was dicey, I can confirm. Wet feet. Oh. It just looks like moss, but it's water underneath it. Right, 57 minutes in, just done a 10k. Oh, this is super squelchy. Every foot that I put down is disappearing under the grass and swamped to water. I don't think it looks like it, but it is. Oh man. Nice one, thanks, Marshall. You come on, get on him. Yeah, stop messing about, come on. Nice one, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Right, that geezer said stop messing about and get a, a move on. So, guess I better add. This is really tough on the ankles because there's nothing flat, but it's all tufty grass so you can't see what you're landing on. It's, your feet are all over the place. Whoa. 
thought I might be able to make out you in the foreground. He's heading across that hillside somewhere, but I can't see him. To be honest, I think he overdosed on that unicorn juice and he'll have just gone across there like, like Santa does with his reindeers. Just a flash of glitter across the hillside. Not sure if you can see for the silhouette. Will the guy come past? These are some strong runners. They're, uh, they're good. Right. Come on, push on. Thank you very much. Oh. There is the Tan Hill. Hello, you. Oh. The Tan Hill. That is for England. Thank you. Oh. I tried to get a video and a photograph of the Tan Hill as I passed, and somebody was taking my picture, and I had to check in at registration. Checkpoint. Wow! Who says men can't multitask? I can't. Right, come on. No, sir, you can hear me for the wind up here. I was contemplating is it worth stopping for a couple of pints and sacrificing a lot of positions or keep pushing on? I pushed on. Not sure if that was the right move, but. We can have a pint any day, can't we? So, right, keep going. Big bog there, we'll try and avoid that one. It's bleak up here, although it could have been bad with that beating sun if it was still out. Oh, it's still a very warm day. It was 18 degrees. When I got to the field at half past eight this morning and we've had a bit of sunshine. So, well it's at least 18 now. Feels hot, feels really hot. Come on, stop witching. Oh. Just descending and it's tough on the knees and ankles and well this old body of mine oh. bang 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 oh. there's a gate down here but I can't see any fence around it it's just a gate in the middle of the field track like, oh bog oh. Oh look at that! <laughs> I'm going whoop round it. Not even to open and close the gate then. <laughs> like that one. I just negotiated two gates and there's a, a runner coming. Another one that's gonna pass me. Oh, I don't think I've even got to half a marathon yet, I'm about 10 miles in, there or thereabouts, so halfway, wow. Damn, just went wrong, back down here. Oh, I didn't know that, I went wrong by going uphill too far too. How stupid is that? Stupid me. Yes, thank you. I'm doing the uh But to me a skyline it is, I think, okay. in September. Right. That'll be tough. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well that down there is Simon. 
we're having a good chat with him but uh, oh, it's tough on my legs down here so I'm letting him go we're just chatting about the uh, oh, three peaks um, three peaks race yeah Yorkshire three peaks so he's only really doing this one as a qualifier for that so but he's doing awfully well thank you thanks very much Oh, up we go again. Oh, twelve point nine miles. Come on, half. I might be able to just get half under. Hope I'm going the right way. Where do I go? Uh oh, going the wrong way. Oh, I see you. Miss them. Oh, up and up and up we go. Oh, and again. I just saw this to have a gel. Encounter this. Wow, this looks a tough way. Savage. You can see her run her head right up in the distance. Still climbing. Thank you. <laughs> They gave me some coke. Oh, am I looking forward to drinking this? But I'm gonna have to put you down. I'm now super sticky from all that coke, but I don't care. Oh, I'll tell you, that was delightful. If the marshals are watching this, thank you. That was just what the doctor ordered, much needed. Right, come on, coke power now. Let's go. Flat Coca Cola, that's what you need. Boom. Two runners way back in the background coming. Wow. Ah, 16 miles in, 2 hours 33 minutes. Whew. About a park run left, I think, because that's the standard unit of measurement, isn't it? Come on. But, oh, I've got 2 miles left, and I keep getting cramped. Oh, it comes, it just comes in. Oh. Takes you, takes you out, and then eases again. Wonder if I can nurse it into the finish. Oh. Thank you. Them tree roots are doing nothing for the legs. Oh, we must be getting there now, about half a mile-ish maybe, who knows. 19 miles, can't be long left. Thank you. I am willing that finish to come. Oh. Nineteen point six miles. Oh. Ah, oh, well done. Oh. 
myself. <laughs> After a run, jump in the water. <laughs> How did you get across these rocks? Ted. Oh dear, I am done. Woof, that was tough, what was it? Um, 19.85 miles, average pace is 9 minutes 12 a mile, and I did it in 3 hours, 2 minutes and 35 seconds. So I'll take that, I wanted 3 hours, um, I'd have liked under 3 hours, it just did tip over. Um, I managed to keep my cramp a little bit at bay. Um, don't know how because I'm over them tree roots at the end. Oh, that was tough. Right, now, I've got to negotiate a river <laughs> and some sheep. So there's a sheep, there's a river. So I can kind of cross the river, although it looks like I climb out the other side. Or we can go over a bridge down here. But I haven't got a clue how I get onto this bridge. <laughs> Let's go find out. Could do with jumping in there. Could do with washing my hands as well. Oh, they're super sticky. Yeah. I think it was that coke. And sweat. Or whatever else. <laughs> okay, where did I leave off? I think. I finished up and I was just on my way back to the car, um, it was about a mile's walk back to the car um, after the run, so tired legs but actually I think the walk was quite good. Um, so it's now, that was Saturday, it's now Monday morning, I've just been out, the uh, the poor weather did arrive, it's been a bit miserable this morning, I've managed to uh, get out and do a, a steady half marathon, so just steady away a couple of hours uh, around the dale just to get the legs uh, going again. But. Yeah, just to wrap up on that day, absolutely fantastic event. So it was a stunning drive home as it, as it was on the way there. But that event was brilliant. I've been wanting to do it for quite some time. Um, it's a long, long time since I've been up near Tan Hill. Um, and that route that goes around by Raven Seat and up to Tan Hill, I've been looking forward to running for, for quite some time. So it was really good to do that. That Dales Runner, uh, well, the whole series, that, that group that put that together, absolutely brilliant what a really great set of people they are so um, from the guy that organized it to all the marshals everybody involved you'll have seen at registration we're having a bit of fun um, all the marshals out on the route were just brilliant absolutely great they uh, they all cheered you on they were all full of life and buzzing and having fun uh, and enjoying it as much as us running so I, I honestly that was just brilliant what a fantastic group of people if you are looking for a trail run to do i can highly recommend searching them search dales runner and and give them a go so jamie did the 10 mile i think it was the swinner swagger um he actually got a course record and first overall so well done jamie that's a cracking effort um hugh and i did the dales runner 30 which is 30k actually it was just over that i ended up being just shy of 20 miles uh, and so that works out what 32k i think um, Hugh got first place, well done Hugh, it must be all that um, unicorn juice that you drink, I think we need to start giving you some beer and then uh, we'll put us on a level playing field a bit fairer then, but no, cracking event, I think I finished 7th overall in the end when I've uh, seen the results come through, um, I'm, I'm only a few months off being a veteran, um, I would have won my age group if I was uh, a couple of months older, um, So, but anyway, absolutely great event loved every minute of that so i can't recommend it highly enough uh i think that's all i've got to say really so until the next one keep running and i'll see you soon